Hi there, my name is April Sawtell and welcome to my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is I just did a little fabric haul. I only bought a few things. I just wanted to share it with you. It was my first time I've gone on Timu and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to go on Timu, but one of my daughters had gone on and she was very successful. She got quite a few items. It was very inexpensive, but there were things that she's been wanting and she paid very little for them. I just wanted to check it out. The client that lives with me needed a dress for a special event. So her and I went on there and we were looking at some inexpensive dresses. She was able to find a very beautiful dress. I mean, it was absolutely beautiful and fancy. And she got that for $24. So we thought, let's just try it, see how it is. So I read up on like if this site is like a legit site. I read all of the information and I thought, well, I'm just going to try it. So she got her dress. Her dress was wonderful. It was everything that she wanted in a dress. And she paid $24. That was a success. So yes on that. And then I bought a few items myself. I just wanted to try this out to see if it's anything that I would like. I really am trying not to buy a lot of fabric and stuff right now because I'm going through all of my things and I am decluttering but I it was really inexpensive and I just wanted to try it so I'll show you what I got this is a I already did open this package and looked at some of the items so this was a roll and I'm going to read how it what they called it so it was a 40 piece cotton fabric quilt and strips jelly roll is what they called it it was five dollars and ten cents I got two of them. Now, I was pretty excited about this because it just had so many different colors and I thought if I was getting a jelly roll for $5.10, even if it wasn't good quality, I could make you know some bags out of it or something. It was such a good deal for a very quick project. So this one I did open. So this is what this looks like. I couldn't find anything in the description when I was ordering this at really how long this was. So I was just thinking it's going to be a jelly roll. It's not a jelly roll. So first of all, each piece is about 19 and a half inches. And so there's 40 pieces at 19 and a half inches. The cotton in this is, this is an 80% cotton 20% polyester I was fine with that but you need to know this is not a full blown jelly roll but for bags and whatnot or to just add pieces of fabric you know nice strips for your projects it has a nice little variety here there's two strips of each piece here is what it appears <music> happy with it the cotton is definitely you know it's a it's a it has the polyester in it and you can feel that uh, so for ten dollars I got two packs and I probably can get a few bags or makeup cases or you know just some nice small projects so I would buy that again I got these this is a two-piece magnetic seam guide I paid $2.98 for these two pieces. So I am completely happy. They feel very heavy duty. And the, I've already used this one on my Juki machine. I always put painter's tape down for my guide and for my, you know, I lay it down. I think I'm going to just start going with this. This was great. And I have not used this one yet. Um, I'm not really sure how this one works yet, so I will find out as I get going. Happy I purchased this though. It was $2.98 and it's described as two-piece magnetic seam guide for sewing machine. All right, I'm good. I really like that one a lot. So I bought these. So this is described as a 50-piece fabric patchwork roll quilt and fabric. 
it feels like twill. It's a twill cotton is what it was described as. Now, it has a nice variety, okay? And But the problem is, is it's very rough. So I, I wouldn't want this in a quilt, but it certainly would be very nice to make a bag or some makeup bags or pouches. There are some duplicates in here, but not a lot. They were $3.48 a piece. I bought six packs. I did think I was going to be able to make a little quilt with it. I won't put this in a quilt. One, because of how it feels. And two, it has a smell to it. Not musty. It's almost, um, I don't know if it's a chemical smell. It smells like the dye maybe of some sort. I've had clothes that I've had to return <laughs> that smelled like that before. I'm thinking I'll make this into a bag. I'm going to sew it all together and then I'm going to wash it before I quilt it or do anything else with it. I'm not going to wash them separate because I don't want them to fray. So I'll sew it as a big piece of fabric and I'll sew them all up and then I will use them that way. Just because I don't like a lot of smells and these do smell. So these squares are three and three quarters by three and three quarters. I love the color red, it's my favorite color. So that's why I purchased these. Of course I purchased them to put into a quilt, but that that is not gonna happen because I don't like the feel and I don't like the smell, but I will make bags with them or I'll make something with them that is not an everyday item that you're gonna have, you know, like a quilt on your face. So probably won't buy them again unless I need a pack for some certain project. And then next I bought these. This is another package and these are also 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Same thing. I bought them because they were floral and they were pretty and I thought they would go great in a scrappy quilt. I just don't like the feel. I don't think they'll be going into any quilt. Um, but look how pretty these are. I mean, again, I'll make a patchwork something. And maybe once I wash it and dry it, maybe then I would use it in the quilt. We'll see. Right now I'm thinking probably not. And again, three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And these ones, the cost for these were, these ones were $2.78 a piece. So I bought two of them. I hope the smell comes out and that I can really make something nice with these. Nice variety of colors if you can see that. Very nice variety of, of colors. And you can't go wrong for the price if you're making bags, if you just need some inexpensive projects. This would be very good to have. This has nothing to do with sewing. But I bought these for my little grandkids um, to put in our Easter bags. They, um, all the girls love rings, so I bought this big variety of rings. So I got this one pack of rings. I paid $2.24 for, and I got 25 pieces here. So my little, all my little grandkids wear, like, like to have rings. And so I bought those for $2.24. I'm very happy with that purchase. I know when I was young, I loved having rings on all of my fingers. So and these are very inexpensive. So if they get lost, I bought these rings here, plus these two more packages. And that was a total, all of these, there was 30 rings for $4.49. I was very happy with that. My little grandkids are going to love these rings. This pack here was the 25 vintage stack and rings retro snake is what this was called two dollars and 24 cents 
for 25 rings. 30 piece boho style ring inlaid moonstone and you get 30 random pieces here. Definitely a good deal. This is a little five pack of ear clips. These go up high on your ear. I got these for my granddaughters. I got them all a package. They're going to love these as well. These are going to go in their Easter bags. We're 71 cents per pack. So you got all five pieces for 71 cents. I couldn't go wrong there. They're going to love them. I'm very happy with my purchases with Timu. And if I decide to purchase any more things that are sewing related, I'll come back with another video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, ring the bell. Ring the bell so it notifies you every time I put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember to keep it simple. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye.